hello everybody, this is Cecil Fax. Um, I'm just about to do something with Paul, and I'm going to video it as a secret. Yes, gentle. It's coming! Right then, Paul, what's your little story? Oh, well, uh, I'll just write it out, shall I, Cecil? Yes. Alright, well, um, once upon a time... There was a chubby little boy who grew up into a bl oh, blubby ball of butter, sweat, and self-loathing, Cecil. Um. Uh, oh. oh. And that chubby little cherub was me, Duck. Beautiful. My perfect match. Ooh. Be, be honest, Paul. Um. Oat. Oh, that's us nice, Paul. You're not racist. Absolutely not. My ideal first date. What would you do? Oh. Pass out with nerves and terror. Exclamation point. Is this compatible at all? Alright, but let's get. Oh, right, it's a li lot of little questions. Please, 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 please read it to me, Paula. There's some long words there. Alright then. Would you date someone of a different ethnicity or culture? Yeah, of course I would, yeah. My perfect, but my partner should select pick one or more. No, yes. How important is this to you? No, no, not by the tissel. No. What? You, Daddy, date Cecil. Right, you read that. S someone with children. Nope. There's a certain amount of baggage I expect from a woman, and children is not one of them. Okay. Uh, um. Oh, what my partner should select that they would date someone with children. No, I don't. I don't like children to be honest. Anyone under 18 generally mocks me openly. Uh, no, part, I'm not bothered about that nonsense. On a first date, which would you most value? Uh, not being sick all over me would be nice. Um, well, as I'm the most intelligent person in the room at the moment, I'm going to go for intelligence. Ah, oh, well, that's very open-minded of you, Paul. What do you mean? Well, it doesn't matter what they look like to you, as long as the brains are right. That's a point. Can I take both of them? Uh, I'm not bothered about personality, as long as they're willing to settle for much less, I'm not bothered. Oh, well, I better not go for physical appearance. I'm not the, the most handsome lad in the... Uh, my personality is wonderful, isn't it, Cecil? Say so. Oh, no. pull that face. Well, that's not Paul. It's horrible sometimes. Right. What do you want your next relationship? So oh, that's what that says to be. Fun and casual. <laughs> Serious and long term. No expectations. <sighs> Can it be fun and long term? I, th I suppose. From what you've told me, Cecil, marriage sucks out all the joy and happiness of a soul. Is that correct? Well, if you're married to Margaret, yes, it does. Right, well, I want fun and casual, but I want her to be serious and not run off with another man. And that's very important, very important to me now. How often do you try to make your date laugh on purpose? Or just because she's looking at me and going, oh, God. <laughs> oh, would you stink as well? If the word was not laugh, but how often did you try and make your date be repulsed 
all the time. Um, I, don't, I have no sense of humour, so I don't want to be women laughing at me. No, I do. I'm only being jocular, you see. And that's the kind of fun... J <laughs> Never and all the time. No, I don't think so. That'd confuse it. That's very... Imp no, it's not. It, 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 ooh, Cecil. Because nothing's ever going to come of this, is it, Cecil? Well... Hmm. How do you show your affection in public? Well, Paul, you never go out in public. That's true. Not at all. But I want her to always be kissing and touching me. And that's very important to me. But for me not to reciprocate that. Right. When the bills arrive, who should pay? Hmm. She should. And she should. And that's very important to her that she pays away because she's a modern lady. Ideally, how much time would you spend with your significant other? Just a little. Just a little bit of time. Um, But she always wants to be with me, but I'm, I'm standoffish. I'm keeping them mean and treating them keen. That's right, that's the saying. And I, that's very important to me now. But Paula, it's a dance with itself. I don't care. It's what I want, Cecil. It's what I want. <sighs> if someone finds me attractive, do you initiate the conversation? No, Paul, you don't. Um. Well, she must. She must. Otherwise, I'm just going to run away and be sick on myself, like last time. Do I keep my word? It's down here. It's Word 2010. Always keep Word 2010 on the task bar. Uh, and she must always... I don't, I don't like open office, Cecil. Right. It's rubbish. Microsoft Word's the best one. Do you seek new experiences, music, food, travel, etc.? Paul, you haven't had a new experience since 1992 when you put on a new pair of underpants. <laughs> that's true, Cecil. That's true. So... Rarely. Don't, don't like doing out. And she must hate it. But it's not important to either of us. We're carefree, happy-go-lucky people. Are you punctual? Um. Yeah. No. I don't know. I'm I'm never on time, actually. It takes me so long to walk. I get sweaty and start <sighs> panting at me. But she must be on time. And it's very important that she's in, on in time. Oh, how much attention do I require in a relationship, Cecil? You're a very needy boy, in terms of mine and your relationship, Paul. It's very needy. Right, well, I a lot of attention, but she doesn't want any. Again, everything must come from this mysterious girl. Now that you came and you changed my world. <coughs> Michael Jackson there for you, Cecil. <coughs> yes. How would you describe your sense of humour. Oh, I don't know, Cecil. What do you think? Um, is the rubbish and not very funny? Hey, don't be nasty. I think sometimes I'm dark, but lots of times I'm sarcastic. Oh, I'm very sarcastic sometimes, aren't I, Cecil? Yes, more so than anything else. But she should have all of the above, except dark. So, no, uh, uh. I don't want any of that dark humour coming at me. I don't know how to take it. Uh-oh. I can't scroll down anymore. Oh, it's beeping at me now. But, uh, good and good for you. Your nutrition tap. Butter is slippery. That's right, we eat as much as possible. To lubricate her arteries and rounds, yes. Am I a romantic person, Cecil? Um... If by romantic you mean nasty, bitter, hate-filled monster, then yes. Right. Right, well, I, I'm not I'm not a romantic person at all. You're talking nonsense again, Cecil. And I don't want her to be romantic or anything like that. I don't like any of that gibberish. It's rubbish. Valentine's Day makes me vomit all over my lapels. Did you want to have children? Oh, no. I'm not getting up at four o'clock for anybody. Unless it's me, because I need to go for a wee or a poo, or sometimes there's two combined. Well, most times, actually. Oh, what's my diet, Cecil? Um, crisps. Hmm, there's no option for crisps 
our chocolates, our biscuits, our kernel flavoured beverages. Right. Just put everything then. No, but th then that includes vegetarians and vegans, Cecil. Yes, well, you don't have an option. Yeah, well, uh, no, no, it is, it, it is important to me, Cecil, now. Right. Oof. Do us never, ever. But she must. <laughs> yes, that's very important to me now. Like a French woman might smoke. Chain like. Uh, religion. Is bargain hunt religion, Cecil? Because that's very important to me now. The Tim Wanacott way of life is a dapper way of life for me. Um, no, I don't think that counts, Paul. That's not important. Not bothered about any of that nonsense. <laughs> Am I financially secure, Cecil? Well, till I die and my pension disappears, yes. Nope. But she must be. I'm going to sponge off you like a... Ooh, like some kind of parasite. Very important to me now. Do I have... No, she must... And she, Yes. <sighs> What's my opinion about work? As little as possible. And there is that option. She must work all the time. Very important to me now. Paul, you can't just live off everybody. You must get a career for yourself. After work, what do I must... Shut up, Cecil. After work, I mostly enjoy doing... Must... No. Relaxing at home. But she must enjoy going out with the lady friends. And then she can come back and bring them all back when they're a bit drunk. And then uh, I can go up at them and go... Uh, <sighs> Paul, you mustn't do that! It's rude! Well, I don't know about that, Cecil. <sighs> Stop it! No, I remember then. <coughs> How tidy is my home? It's a complete disaster. Um, hmm, could I live with a, a little misorganised? I think I could. And I think that's very important to me now. Do I enjoy travelling for fun? Hmm. Um, um, oh, I scratched my head about that. I'm not sure. Well, do you? Sometimes, sometimes, moderately important. I'm on the fence on that one, Cecil. I'm on it. Like a fence. Ooh, how often do we watch television, Cecil? Every day, in every way. That, that's a must. That's an absolute must. That's the, the most must of all of them. Too much to go to me now. <laughs> Paul, like this one's amusing. How often do you exercise? Right, well, really, she must. I want her to keep trim. I don't want her to end up like me, a big boy, blah, blah, blah. She must be svelte. Right. What have we done? Ooh, round and round. Oh, uh, how long do my relationships generally last? Well, I've never had one, so I don't know. Hers must last... M more, than, more than a year. No, I'm bothered, really. As long as she's got bosoms, I'm not... Oh, it's not the last question. Would you date someone who was dating someone else? No, she must be dedicated to this ball of blubber. Or else... How often do we discuss politics, Cecil? Oh, well, all the time. All the time. Like when we were talking about the price of a postage stamp, which I believe is, is politics. That's as near to politics as we get, so... A good relationship should require hard work. False, but she thinks it does. So that's... Uh, <laughs> that'll throw him a curveball. I thought we'd done this now. Are you comfortable sharing my feelings, Cecil? Yes, I want to say you are. You're very vocal about how you feel. Quite a lot of the time. Mostly about how your bowels are feeling and how loose or rigid your motions, your bowel motions are. Right, all right then. What's the most essential to my happiness? Friends and family, Paul, say that, please. <laughs> family, money. It's always been the money which should be Paul Thacks. Therefore, the crisp influence is... Uh, well, you're a nasty shit. Do I enjoy doing things on my own? Oh, absolutely. Uh, she must... Uh, sometimes we do them on our own together, and I can watch. <laughs> it's all right to me now. Oh, good God. Am I energetic, or do I do things slow? Well, what do you think? I prefer to relax and take... Uh, 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 
My education level, oof, barely high school, barely. I'm not bothered about that at all. She can be thick as a pig in poo, I'm not bothered. I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm employed. Yes, she must have a full-time job and support me, we've been through this. Do I consider myself a materialistic person? Cecil, what does that mean? Um, it means if you like material, like fabrics, like on a cushion, or if you're showing interest in curtains. Hmm. Huh. Some, sometimes I do. I like, I love this that velvety kind of thing we've got on this cushion I'm resting upon now. I think it's lovely. I like to rub my cheek on it. <sighs> I, I, I didn't watch that. I just ticked it. For me, intelligence is something that other people don't seem to have. Uh, essential to attraction. Uh, uh, I don't know what any. I'm just clicking things now. I'm bored. I'm bored, Cecil, with this now. I often do review. <laughs> Just take anything. No, Paul, no, you've done it. Good job. Right, then. Compatibility. What does that do? I want to click it now. Oh. Get started, Cecil. Uh, you've answered all of the... I know I have. Right, then. What do we do? I've done all this nonsense now. Uh, what? How do I... I'm confused to myself. Is it... Uh, Alright, let's look at my things. What we got here? Date card, what's this? Is it, oh, beauty. I'm not... Oh, <laughs> yes, I'm not Papayulia. 6,423,753. It's alright, Paul, don't cry. I'm sure you'll go up in popularity when the ladies see your beautiful face. <laughs> it's alright, Paul. Alright, sorry. Pull myself together. <laughs> uh, penny crayon? Yes! Uh, what? Yeah, we're trash. P it knows me so well. Ah, oh, books. Don't read books. Rebecca, quick. What? Films, the last stuff. That was a classic film. Goonies, Little Mermaid. Oh, I'd love to just. Oh. <laughs> chat. Can we chit chat? Oh, I don't want to. I'm frightened, Tesla. I'm frightened. Say something. Uh, 